So I'm delighted to be joined here today by Roger Whittle. Uh, many of you will know him as the CEO of Apple Partner Jigsaw 24, but you may also know him because he's extremely active on LinkedIn, uh, talking about sustainability and carbon reduction and all those sorts of things. So, Roger, thanks for joining me today. No pleasure. Pleasure to join you. So you're, you're the CEO of the UK's largest Apple partner. So you, you sell a huge amount of Apple devices into business and education. So can you just tell me why you think sustainability is going to be such a, a key theme for Jigsaw 24 and your peers uh, going forward? And, and, and you know, what, why you think the industry um, should be doing better on this issue? Uh, with, without sounding, wanting to sound too dramatic, uh, as far cleverer people than me have been saying, uh, led, I suppose, in terms of my perception by David Attenborough, but also Greta Thunberg. And of course, Al Gore started all of this with an inconvenient truth in 2006, although to be fair to him, he wasn't the first to talk about the environment. You know, we are facing a man-made disaster of global scale, uh, a threat to our very lives. And if we do not reduce the carbon emissions by 2030, you know, we are looking at irreversible and catastrophic damage to uh, our lives, which will result in, you know, many millions of deaths and, and very possibly a threat to human civilization. I know that sounds a bit heavy, but we are talking here about dramatically rising sea levels, fresh water in short supply, the extinction of many species, diseases spreading due to high temperature, you know, mass migration out of control, shrinking harvest productivity, consequential food shortages, starvation, rampant inflation as prices go mad, uh, uh, wars arising because people aren't getting on and they're fighting over limited resources, civil unrest, political instability, conflict. So the stakes literally could not be higher. And this battle against greenhouse gases, because it is a war, it's us or the greenhouse gases and who's going to win, we have to win, should define all of our lives and the lives of our children and our grandchildren uh, as we fight this together. So, you know, that's how important it is. And I think we need to forget when we're busy in our daily lives, the, the huge gravity of what we're all facing. Uh, and I'm not saying anything original or clever there. I'm just copying what I've heard from scientists and, and, and politicians who are, who are far brighter than me. Uh, and I think we've all got to take notice uh, and not be scared, but rise to the challenge because, you know, we are all either, you know, parents or grandparents or brothers or sisters or uncles or aunts or godparents or, or neighbours, but, you know, whatever we are, and we're all one of those, we're also all of us citizens we're citizens of the world and and so we've all got to play our part so i, I think this is just absolutely critical uh, and to turn to a more positive angle i would say that you know we've got to do four or five things together we've got to use less we've got to share more we've got to give freely when we can we've got to recycle we've got to stop waste we've got to source locally when possible and we've got to embrace new sustainable technology which I think is where the channel comes in. And if one thinks about IT distributors and resellers, you know, a lot of uh, business that we all do is in the business of infrastructure, which historically has meant storage. It might mean servers, networking, connectivity, and so on, including, of course, if you think about it, sometimes uh, at one niche corner, universal you know, uninterruptible power supplies. Now, What's going to happen is in the next few years, solar power is going to be mandated nearly everywhere. Uh, but the problem with solar, of course, is the sun doesn't shine at the right time. And I think what we're going to need to have is intelligent, cloud-based, AI-based, if possible, software-driven, stationary storage to help supplement the times when the sky is cloudy and the sun's not shining, to even out the peaks and troughs of storage needs. And I think stationary storage, intelligent stationary storage, is a huge opportunity for the IT channel. And that's just one example of where I think the IT channel can play a huge role in helping drive the new sustainable technology solutions, which will enable us to beat greenhouse gases and win the aforementioned war that we all have to win. So there's a huge opportunity out there. And 
as David Attenborough often says, you know, there can be a positive conclusion to this. It can be optimistic. We can win. And, and I think we really, really will, possibly in, in no short measure due to technology. So I think it's quite exciting. Fantastic, um, Roger. And um, so, so who who should be driving the change? Is it should it be at a government level? Is there things that vendors should be doing, or should to a certain extent the channel partners be taking it into their own hands? So let's just pick a, an example: uh, a father or a mother is pushing a pram outside a cafe in town. Sensible scenario. That child, that baby in that pram could be breathing in fumes from a diesel engine exhaust pipe of a car waiting, apparently innocently, at a traffic light just six feet away. That's scandalous, isn't it? It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be allowed. So who's responsible for that? Well, the answer, of course, is we're all responsible. So to answer your question, I think that government needs to play a role. Now, they're all talking about it. They're all talking about 2030, 2050. That's a start. They've recognised it. They've listened to Greta and David Attenborough and others. And now there's COP26, which is the uh, British hosted summit that will take place this Christmas time uh, in Glasgow. And what's happening and what will start to happen is a series of regulations from the government, which will make change happen, just as, for example, you know, smoking was effectively banned from indoors. And uh, so I think government plays a role. I think companies play a role. I think Apple. Microsoft and HP, to name but three, have played a leading role so far in what they're doing themselves. And I think uh, customers and consumers can play a role. At the radical end, you've got Extinction Rebellion, and then at the more maybe less radical end, you've got just people getting angry about it. And I think lots of young people, millennials, people younger and maybe wiser than me, maybe angrier than me, uh, and quite rightly too, uh, are making their voices felt. Consumers are voting. Uh, look what happened with uh, supermarket bags you know it was taken up instantly now uh, so things can change quite quickly so i think to answer your question it's governments it's companies and it's consumers it's all of us we're all citizens we've all got to make it happen together can i just pick you up on that point you made about vendors so uh, we were talking the other day actually and you you mentioned that you felt uh, that there's a chance that the vendors might start trying to drive more sustainable behavior in their partners perhaps even through you know, partner program mechanics. Is that, is that a possibility, do you think? I think it's a probability. I think it's probably, I hope it's an inevitability. I've seen it with Apple. Uh, they started with their own practices, which are, you know, good practices on the environment. And they're now driving those changes and practices through their supply chain. Inevitably, they should be driving those through their partners as well. And so I think that's going to come. If this war against greenhouse gases is a, you know, a 10 chapter book, I think we're halfway through the second paragraph of page one. We haven't started yet. All aspects of society are going to have to change and there will be rules and different mandates from central and local government and from companies, uh, plus social norms will change so that we all have to start to play a role you know, everywhere. So uh, I know I'm not a lone voice. I'm, I'm now a mainstream voice. I'm not saying anything original here today. Uh, and I think we all believe in it. And CRN, you know, congratulations to you for taking a lead here with these sustainability awards that you're talking about and planning, because I think that's fantastic. I think the IT channel has always been a positive driver for change, uh, has always played a positive role with charitable giving, for example, and so on. And I think, uh, I think that the IT channel will respond very quickly. And I think change is coming very, very fast every week, every month at the moment, uh, as we move forward together on this. Fantastic. Okay, thanks, Roger. Well, I really appreciate your time today. Really good to get your thoughts. And I'm sure we'll be catching up soon. Thanks a lot. All the best. Thanks, Doug.